Hey guys and welcome to Dainty Bite! Looking for the perfect fall cake? A cake with a perfect blend of spices, pumpkin and pecan? You've got to try this cake, it is so amazing with a touch of semolina, not too sweet, so addictive. Let me show you how to make it and let's get started! You won't believe how easy this cake is to put together. You're not gonna need a mixer, just a hand whisk. You're gonna start by adding one cup of pumpkin puree, not the pumpkin pie filling, a pure 100% pumpkin puree. Add to that half a cup of light brown sugar and a quarter cup of granulated sugar. Mix until combined and then you're gonna add some spices. I love this cake, it's not too sweet, it's perfect with your morning cup of coffee. You're gonna add one teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of allspice, a quarter teaspoon of cloves, one eighth of a teaspoon of fresh nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger. And that's the perfect pumpkin spice mix. Mix all the spices very well and then you're gonna add two extra large eggs and I usually bake with extra large eggs, the outcome is always better. A touch of a good vanilla extract and you're gonna mix. Now it's time to add the butter, unsalted butter and it's room temperature, very very soft butter or it can be melted but it has to be cooled. Mix it in very well and then I'm gonna add half a cup of semolina and trust me on this, it's gonna add an amazing flavor and texture as well. This cake is the perfect moist, light and delicious combination. You're gonna add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and you can use cake flour if you prefer all-purpose flour is good enough now I'm gonna add one tablespoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of baking soda and a touch of salt you're gonna mix the whole thing just until combined and you're gonna add half a cup of buttermilk it's gonna make all the difference it's gonna make it so moist you can add regular milk if you don't have buttermilk or you can add a tablespoon of lemon juice to the milk before you add it, that's gonna achieve something similar to the buttermilk. You're gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 177 degrees Celsius. Grease a loaf pan with baking spray or butter and flour, add the batter and smooth it out. After smoothing out, I'm gonna arrange these beautiful jumbo pecans on top of the cake and bake. You're gonna bake for 40 minutes or until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. Every oven is different, so check it out with a toothpick. If the toothpick comes out clean, that means the cake is ready. It smells like fall y'all, I hope you give this recipe a try, it is heavenly good, so moist and delicious. Don't forget to comment, like and share and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you won't miss any of my recipes and follow me on social media, the links are gonna be in the description box below and until next time, bon appétit!